a very good afternoon to one and all present here my name is swarad majan we welcome everyone on behalf of the science club of the sai high school i especially welcome all the special invitees teachers students and all the participants we all know how interesting science is scientists are inquisitive discoverers their curiosity has paved the path for various inventions and discoveries in today's world scientists apply their curiosity by learning as much as they can about the topics that spark their interest and by the means of today's competition we have made an attempt to ignite this curiosity in the minds of the students of standard 10 the students of standard 10 had been given the opportunity to conduct a scientific research on any topic they would prefer but before we proceed with our competition i would like to invite our respected mahadevan sir who has played a vital role in shaping the careers of the students of our school through their relentless efforts over the years to introduce the chief guest of today's function thank you swarat thank you so much very good afternoon to one and all if you educate a woman you educate a nation if you educate a woman you educate a nation it's my privilege to introduce today's judge dr jayashree menon dr jayashree menon has been a faculty with department of zoology in maharashtra college mumbai since 23 years born and brought up in jombivili dr jayashree menon did her schooling from model english school and continued her further studies in different colleges affiliated to university of mumbai she has had a meritorious academic career and was recipient of several scholarships throughout her educational career including her doctorate she was awarded phd by university of mumbai for her study on the effects of mercury and pesticide pollution in fish and fish consumers she has presented her research work in several national and international conferences and has 17 research papers published to her credit she is also the founder member coordinator and advisor of jay nursery and kindergarten in jombali for the last 33 years she has written four books for school children comprising of poems action songs fancy dress lines show and tell activities and also stories based on indian lifestyle through these books dr jesh attempts to inculcate values like discipline manners hygiene and cooperation she adopts various themes in interesting ways incorporating indian lifestyle thus making the learning process familiar palatable and interesting for children as an active member of science club nature club and students forum dr jayashree has organized various intra and inter college events in relation to science nature and education and has also judged many events at school and college levels dr jayashree is a social worker too and is associated with many social and cultural associations in dombivili she believes education both preliminary and advanced should be made available to all this can be achieved only through a socialistic mindset which she emphasizes can be molded in society only by teachers hence her role in society is not only to teach but also to educate and to mold the society for a harmonious living i wish all the best to all the participants in today's sia science club competition explore the researches in science good luck to one and all before i conclude my sincere thanks to dr jayashree menon for accepting the invitation for this event and also to the event 
manager, coordinator, Mr. Vinod Balasubramanian. Thank you to one and all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now let's have a look at rules for today's competition. The video of every participant must be on during his or her presentation. You will be given two minutes to present your views on the topic you have prepared. The judge may ask questions and you have to defend your abstract. Best wishes to all of you. These are the participants for today's competition. So let's begin. Our first participant is Ayush Patil. Hello everyone. My name is Ayush Patil from 10th B. Today, I am going to discuss a topic shark diversity unaffected when the dinosaurs were wiped out study finds so the asteroid which was hit to the earth led to the extinction of the all non-even dinosaurs and the large marine reptiles such as mosasaurus and Presiosaurus. and it also extends the sharks also but wait all marine reptiles uh, such as all marine reptiles such as Plesiosaurus and mosasaurus means sharks also because a shark named Megalodon was there on the earth and it is the largest shark species on the earth. Sharks were unaffected when the dinosaurs were wiped out by the asteroid event which is also known as the Cretaceous mass extinction event. This event, this article was published by published on August 10th by Mohammed Bazi of Uppsala University. His study proves that the multiple shark groups across the end of the Cretaceous mass extinction event. And he also tells that the Cretaceous mass extinction event and the KPG boundary was not as dramatic for sharks as it was more for the other lineages. And it also tells that the, dent the shark lineages increased in the dental diversity after the KPG boundary. For example, sharks which have narrow teeth adapted for fish feeding on fish showed increases in diversity of sharks such as hammerhead shark, mako sharks and other shark species. Thank you. Hello. Hello Ayush. Yes ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Ayush uh... Can you explain what is this KPG boundary? Ma'am, KPG boundary uh, is, a, uh, is a boundary which maintains, means it differentiates the age of reptiles and the other animals. Okay. Uh, can you, uh, uh, are you trying to say that the sharks are only found in the oceans? Are there any species uh, which is inhabiting the freshwater. Any idea? Have you, when you're talking about shark diversity and you're talking about marine uh, species, you're talking mainly about the marine species. Have you gone through which species, uh, are there any species inhabiting the freshwater resources? Yeah, freshwater resources, uh, some sharks may be like, uh, Tiger sharks or mako sharks. Which is a, uh, uh, yeah, can you tell me the size of the shark, uh, the range of the size of the sharks? You, are, you have learned, you, are, uh, you have gone through an article where you're talking about diversity of sharks. So what is the range of size from just approximate? I don't want uh, accurate size, but do you have an idea from which size to which size? Uh, generally, we find sharks. Uh, from 
offsprings the size is till uh, 5 to 10 uh, or uh, we can say 5 to 10 I'm... meters and then after that when it reaches to the adult uh, adult size or adult sharks we can say that uh, it may be approximately um, 20 to 25 meters uh, i'm not talking about one species of different species the smallest shark and the largest shark yeah the smallest sharks uh, it may reach to 20 to 25 meters as at an adult size and the largest sharks which is there on the earth is whale sharks and uh, mega mouth sharks it can reach up to um approximately now they are 30 meters or at a size of whales okay thank you thank you okay thank you ma'am thank you uh, next participant is manjiri chawan to one and all myself manjiri chawan chawan from 10th b we all dream for a plastic free india don't we what if this dream comes true it will be like a blessing for all of us since decades we have used plastic because it's sustainable and durable and have always neglected the fact that it is indispensable and hazardous to and uh, manjiri can i interrupt you uh, can you speak a little louder oh, um yeah shall i start from the beginning yes yes please greetings to one and all myself manjiri sagar chavan from 10th b all dream for a plastic free india don't we what if this dream comes true it will be like a blessing for all of us since decades we have used plastic because it's sustainable and durable and have always neglected the fact that it is indispensable and hazardous too and this has resulted in the accumulation of nearly 0.27 million tons of plastic in the water bodies all over the world which is dangerous for all of us in order to avoid this a group of scientists at the tokyo university of science led by professor yasuo nihai developed a new method to combat plastic emissions they generated a high resolution map of 1 km grids of plastic emissions across japan professor nihai said to prevent the increase of plastic waste into the sea it was necessary to indicate where and how plastic debris is currently being generated the research was successful as they arrived to the conclusion that the physical features of water bodies dictate the amount of plastic waste accumulated it also helped to find the annual plastic emission in japan that is 210 to 4776 tons per year of total plastic and they found the hot spots of plastic emissions like tokyo nagoya and osaka if we implement this method in india then we can surely make india plastic free and that's why i chose this topic thank you okay manjiri uh, hello audible yeah all right now uh, yes you are you have uh, talked about a radar uh, yes. using a grid to find out plastic emissions in the water fine you stop the plastic emissions into the water then how are what are we going to do with the plastic what is according to you what should be done you ban the uh, uh, throwing away of plastic into the sea fine it's very essential then what we will do with the plastic we can reuse it it into something different as if our scientists will work on this topic and if all the plastic is been taken out from the sea we can work on that plastic and we can make something very innovative which will be useful and it won't cause any harm to us or the other living animals you, you mean recycling right recycling of plastic right yes okay now what what are you doing to reduce the consumption of plastic in your daily life we should first uh, stop using the plastic bags and must use cloth bags then uh, we must not drink water from the we must not purchase on the water from the plastic bottles we must carry 
uh, something different. Like at home, we can uh, keep pots made up of uh, terracotta pots or uh, pots made up from the mud, uh, so that we get fresh chill water. Um, then we can stop using uh, uh, harmful products, which uh, are being made up of plastic, so that it won't cause harm for us. And plastic, when the uh, particular production of the package is only stopped, then uh, people won't make that such things, and uh, it won't harm us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Manchiri. Thank Thanks. You. Let's move on to our next participant, Surekha Kini. Yes. Good afternoon, all the respected dignitaries and all my dear friends. Myself, Surekha Shankakini from Standard 10th B, Rule Number 43. We all know that science is very successful in our day-to-day -day life. Me, myself, is very interested in the study and diagnosis of hereditary disorders or genetic diseases. I felt it very fascinating about um, uh, this topic, which made, uh, which forced me to choose the same. Well, let me introduce my topic to you. It's junk DNA. We are going to deal with two subtopics in that. First, cancer. One out of the two men and one out of the three women in their lifetime are diagnosed by cancer. But what exactly cancer is? Cancer, in simple words, is the cells which have lost their control, um, which have lost their ability to follow the normal control that the body exerts on the cells. Secondly, we will see what aging means. The telomere present at the four ends of the chromosomes become short every time the cells divide. At a particular moment, the telomere becomes so minute that it vanishes and the cells stops dividing. As a result, the cells starts to die, which causes aging. To treat these major problems, the Washington University was prone as a blessings. VNTR21 is a DNA region which drives the activity of the telomerase gene. It can prevent the aging in some types of cells. Regulation and activation of the telomerase gene can help us understanding the reasons of aging and also how can we stop cancer. Hence, this was the research done by the researchers from Washington University. Thank you. Hello, Sureka. Yes, ma'am. Let me ask you uh, the question based on your title itself. Why is it called mm -hmm. junk DNA? Uh, yes, ma'am, uh, because uh, it's the uh, DNA which causes the major problems uh, like cancer or uh, aging, which is not uh, good for us. And uh, it's all waste, so uh, I think that uh, this topic is given to it. It was there in the research. Uh, but why the why it is called junk? Junk means waste, is it not? Hi. Uh, yes, because cancer is not good for us. No, so it's a waste only. So. Is it so? Yes, I think so. Okay, you can go through this particular uh, title this title again. Okay, later on, and you'll find the real answer. Okay. Is yes. there any other uh, function of uh, these junks DNA that you have come across while dealing with it? Okay. Example function other than cancer and aging, is junk DNA associated with any other functions? Uh, teacher, I think like uh, genetic disorders, it causes some types. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yes. Thank you, Sureka. The next participant is Anushka Hubli. Greetings to all. Myself, Anushka Hubli. So today, I'm going to present a topic, physical inactivity versions of COVID-19. Keeping in mind the current worldwide pandemic, I thought of choosing this topic, which can put light on the fact that physical exercise plays a vital role in fighting with COVID. According to this research, it shows that the people who were consistently inactive in doing some physical exercises had to suffer more than those who were consistently doing some exercises. So you all must be thinking, 
covid is a respiratory disorder then how can physical exercise help in dealing with it so basically covid does infect our respiratory system and what if we do physical exercise regularly then it can increase our energy levels and also immunity power and also increase our productivity productivity level which can have a substantial effect on developing covid when a person with weakened immunity system does get an infection it tends to be more serious because it can affect more organs and more damage to the body now looking on the positive side of this lockdown everyone has started becoming health conscious better late than never having proper balanced diet nutrition physical exercise is all what one needs in order to deal with covid the main conclusion of this study is doing that physical exercise is must as it has infinite advantages the human body is the best gift of god and so we must take care of it thank you hello anushka yes ma'am yeah okay now uh... Just tell me, what do you do? You are in tenth standard, if I am not wrong, yes. right? Yeah. So you have, you may be studying a lot. Yes. Yeah. How is that? Uh, how are you involved in some physical activity? Yeah. So like a uh, a week before, I saw a video on YouTube in which, uh, like they had been showing a uh, Surya Namaskar, that is, uh, bowing to the sun, in which there were twelve. uh yoga asanas or we can say 12 poses so every morning i try to do at least 11 surya namaskars and after that uh, we have school lectures and classes and in the night or uh, after lectures in the evening i try to do a little bit skipping because also i want to increase my height and also it can keep me fit okay and uh, what is your opinion about mental exercise mental exercise is uh, equally important as physical exercise because our, our mind goes where our, uh, because our body goes where our mind takes it so if our uh, mind is only not capable or if it is only dealing with some like uh, stress or depression though we do lot of physical exercise there will be zero uh, benefit of it so we should also do mental exercises uh, like we must talk with our family members we should laugh we should enjoy each and every moment of our life which can help in improving our mental health and physical health both because they both are interrelated so we cannot uh, like distinguish between physical and mental okay thank you thank, thank you ma'am thank you anushka yeah the next participant is shravya hegde Hello everyone my name is Shravya Ravindra Hegde from 10th B I would like to discuss on my topic that is formation of moon brought water to earth as we know the earth is unique in our solar system because it is the only terrestrial planet with large amount of water and moon which stabilizes the earth axis now the scientists are able to show that the water come to earth with the formation of the moon some 4.4 billion years ago The moon was formed when Earth was hit by a body about the size of Mars called Theia. The solar system structured such that the dry materials were separated. Carbon dry and wet materials were separated. Carbonaceous meteorites which are rich in water have came from outer solar system and non-carbonaceous material uh, meteorites have came from the inner solar system. The carbonaceous materials were responsible for water on Earth. Theia comes from the outer solar system, and Earth was formed in the dry inner solar system. Means Theia helped in delivering large quantities of water to Earth. Protoplanet Theia, uh, Theia supplied a molybdenum in Earth's mantle, which collided with Earth and led to the formation of the Moon. Since a big part of the molybdenum in Earth's surface originates from the outer solar system, it means Theia also Theia also uh, Theia also originated from the outer solar system. Thus, we can say that Earth was Earth uh, water was formed uh, with the uh, when water uh, water was 
water was formed when with the formation of moon without the moon uh, uh, without the moon uh, uh, there would be no life on earth thank you yes shravya yes oh shravya yeah uh, your slide i uh, although it is about the formation of the moon uh, i i could not see any moon or uh, why is it so dark any purpose of keeping the major portion of the slide dark no teacher i have put the images but it is not showing that some problem was happened okay okay i have I... Put but it has not came what images uh, did you uh, put on the slide uh, what means ha means earth that is kola tia is tia and earth are colliding i have put that picture okay, okay. Uh, can you some tell me something more about tia um the tia is a proto planet um, it was it came from the outer solar system outer solar system means uh, which are far away from the sun so it contain wet materials when when this uh, when tia collided to earth it uh, it supplied carbonaceous materials which helped earth to get water okay uh, which is a website or which is a article can you give me details of this article who has written this article yes uh, in article it was written that it is from the university of munster that is in germany okay and uh, no author no it was uh, there was no uh, i don't uh, means it there was no uh, author name was not written in that okay okay fine thank you thank you shravya welcome let's move ahead with our next participant soham khan se so good afternoon one and all सोहम आर यू देर हेलो i think is facing some technical difficulties so so we will go for the next participant and then we will take him in once again our next participant is arpita mahajan hello friends good afternoon my name is arpita mahajan today i am going to tell you about global plastic pollution plastic pollution is the accumulation of the plastic objects and the particles which is a example like plastic bags plastic bottles and bags or most of us it is a million plus plastic bottles one brought about the world environment every minute 90% of plastic polluted our ocean is carried by just 10 rivers plastic is killing more than 1.1 million sea birds and animals every year plastic pollution is the also affect to animals because plant takes thousand of plastic takes uh, thousand of uh, years to get as lizard fish and wildlife are becoming intoxicated the plastic is so much harmful for us to have the chemical impact on builder so as we can not use the plastic so current rates of plastic is a globally many effector that we will not able to reduce uh, sorry on 20, on july 2 science according to the authors the plastic pollution is a global threat and for action to the domestic reduce emission of plastic environment are the radiation radiation policy as well so guys please don't use the plastic it's very harmful for us thank you okay arpita arpita yes, yeah so uh, you spoke about global plastic pollution right so can we totally ban plastics can we ban like uh, can we have a world without plastics or uh, 
let me make it easy for you. Can you tell me the advantages of plastic where we cannot um, totally uh, ban plastic? We need it or it is very, very essential. Uh, yes, plastic is used in for some such work that means uh, that it can be, it can cost low and it have you so much advantage like um, it's like it's uh, plastic is so much helpful for us human beings like it can be carry some things so in in industry the plastics are plastic containers are used for mixing the compounds and uh, it's containing it's very helpful for human beings yeah it is helpful it is helpful in many ways for human beings okay yet we'll have to you are you have uh, what have you written that no action drastically reduce reduce emissions of plastic we have to ban plastics also so how are we going to maintain a balance between the two things by uh, stop using plastic means you should not use more plastic using you should use like indiscriminate use of plastic should be banned right yes yes yeah okay so anything else you would like to add on Okay, fine. Good. Uh, Arpita, thank you. Hmm? Yes. The next participant is Divya Bauskar. Hello, everyone. Myself, Divya here. As we know about COVID-19, commonly known as coronavirus, the virus which causes, uh, causes coronavirus is uh, sars cov this virus got its name from WHO, that is World Health Organization. CO means Corona, VI means virus, D means disease, and since it was started in 2019, it is known as COVID-19 virus. The uh, Stanford University st uh, studied that the second dose of COVID-19 virus should not be skipped, that is RNA vaccination. RNA vaccination is first time introduced to human beings, that it is first time, first time used for human beings instead. And it states that it induces a powerful booster, which acts as in B cells and T cells. B cells attacks the virus, it prevents from infecting the cells. And T cells stops the virus and it provides an immune booster, which helps us to fight with that virus. So um, according to standard immunity studies, it is also said that RNA vaccine also works for other viruses as well. 95% protection is given by RNA vaccine to co from COVID-19 virus. The logic behind staying at home for 15 days after COVID vaccination is there are some immune cells which produces a artificial coronavirus and antibodies which tackles the coronavirus, artificial coronavirus, and improves our immunity system to tackle with the real coronavirus. So uh, during this whole process, our immune system is too low and therefore it is suggested to stay at home for 15 days. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Divya. Divya. Hello, Divya. Yes. Yeah. Hello, ma'am have uh, very well presented what are the advantages of uh, the vaccines all right still why there are people who are against this vaccine what are their theory what is uh, their outlook about this vaccine why why are yeah. they opening it Yeah, there are some people who are against this vaccination because some people think that uh, there are some people who have faced COVID before vaccine or uh, vaccine were introduced to India. And they think that if we take this vaccination and if there are chances that we may get attracted to COVID, uh, COVID virus quickly. So there are some people who think that if we take this vaccination and by chance we come in contact with any person who is having COVID-19, and as I so, uh, told that they, um, during this whole process, our immune system, immune system is very low. So they think that the coronavirus will uh, get attracted to us very quickly. So they are a little afraid for it. Uh, is that the only reason? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, there are many theories being put forth. Okay, If you go into the detail of this topic, you'll come across many theories. Hmm? Uh, yes, okay. So thank you. Thank you, Divya. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Our next participant is Soham Kanse. 
so uh, good afternoon everyone myself som kanse so i am going to today talk about a physical activity that protect uh, children from being adverse effect of digital media on their weight later in adolescence so i have purposely taken up with this topic because uh, due to the conditions that are going outside pandemic conditions uh, nowadays the uh, digital media use has been extensively increased uh, in children so they are facing the problems such as obesity and uh, uh, overweight so in order to overcome that they are needed to be at least play uh, six, more than 6 hours per week to survive uh, to means uh, face the problem of obesity and uh, the overweight so the study was also made by the volkelson uh, research center and the university of lnc according to the study the children's heavy digital media use is associated uh, with a risk of being overweight later in adolescence physical activity protect the children from being overweight so this study involved 4661 children and uh, the participated children used to report the, how much time they used to spend in uh, uh, spent in digital media use and a physical activity and this study uh, taken into account of various factors such as the uh, uh, means the time they played done physical activity leisurely amount of sleep as well as uh, the physical activity they did uh, in spite of the confounding factors the protective role of the childhood physical activity in the connection between digital media use in childhood and being overweight in life later in life was successfully confirmed uh, by this study thank you yes so hum hello yes yes ma'am uh, a very nice topic something uh, that uh, we all are facing especially during this pandemic what are the remedial measures for this according to you simple remedial measures you are one of those simple who is uh, who, who is facing this problem and in, even in future you your generation will be facing this okay and now this is going to be continuous so according to you what are the remedial measures simple remedial measures according to you to prevent the simple remedial measures are that we should at least do the physical activity means exercise or at least we should walk 1 km every day so it will be helpful for our health anything else any advice for the parents or teachers yes uh, parents should take care that their students means their uh, children should not take the mobile in hand unnecessarily that applies to you too <laughs> yes 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 ma'am and for the teachers any suggestion yeah for the teachers uh, to keep motivated the students about this uh, factor this obesity and overweight and tell them the importance of their health okay fine thank you thank you so much thank you ma'am the next participant is madhura chakwe it seems that she is absent for today's event so let's move on the next participant shravani vishe hello everyone i'm shravani vishe from standard 10 putting forward my views on depression but before stating my views i would like to say why i chose this as my topic well depression in india is most likely to be ignored every now and then by the indians or the so called desi people you might know that india is the most depressed country in the world confirmed by who it was confirmed that almost 200 million people out of 1360 million are depressed in india that is like 1 by 7 of the whole on this population and therefore this is why i chose this topic to state my views forward well there are depressions of many types it can be a ventral depression artery depression pulmonary depression but no 
I'm not talking about those today. I'm talking about the mental depression. There are many types of mental depression, like major depression, clinical depression. I haven't gone that deep with it, but I'm still giving you the common advice. Well, the term depression is always misguided by the people and they believe it in wrong terms. People have to understand that every sadness or boredom is not depression. I heard this story from a girl who said that I had depression on YouTube. And she said that it got cured in a day. But first of all, that is not possible. It's just an emotion of sadness and not depression. Depression is something which is a serious mental disorder which affects our mood as well as the ability to function. And this can happen to anyone. You might even not know. Every laziness is not depression as I said, but happening it for every day, maybe you have. I mean, yes, the symptoms are feeling sadness or hopeless, but it can happen uh, and cause the body to suffer in many ways, such as causing difficulty with thinking or losing the appetite, gaining weight, losing weight, losing interest in what you used to love. It happens from so many factors. For example, pressure from school or parents or conflicts or sexual abuse, emotional abuse, Anything, age, genetics, everything can happen. But people are not divulging this topic as a serious one in India mostly. 40% people who suffer from depression has committed suicide. They didn't have an option to do so. And you know what? 75.6% of them were teenagers in average all over the world. If a child goes to his parents telling that I don't feel as usual, why can't the parents help him out or help her out? Are you like not gonna hear to your child? It's not like he's gonna lie or something. Even though the disorder is curable, do you think ignoring it would help? Absolutely not. Depression can be treated, but with therapy, medications, then going to hang out with your friends or the people who love. But in India, these conditions are not taken seriously. At fault is the judgment, the education. Let me tell you one by one or each of them. Judgment is, of course, the society does not consider the mental health as an issue, issue for some reason. You will be judged and you even don't have the fear to tell everyone. You don't have the courage. Your own family or friends might ignore the situation. Second, lack of empathy. Why don't people encourage in these issues? If you think cancer is okay, then um, then if, uh, intestine uh, diseases is okay, then why not mental health? Do you think mental health is a joke? Of course not, but this should be given to uh -huh. Indian as a knowledge. Many are even not even aware about these things. And Indian kids are very like silent, you know. They will not tell anything to their parents. Even after counseling, the children do get better, but then to some of them don't. Third is the government. They need to provide some better healthcare facilities for sure and remove all the stigma associated with it. Fourth, the education to the community. If you take seminars on sex education or anything, why can't you take on mental disorders? I mean, it's normal to take, no, but then you don't. So that's why we should learn to create an inclusive environment for people for with mental health issues. So some people feel that the uh, treatment is so expensive. Uh, the, so that's the reason why they don't take only. Like a person who is suffering with depression needs a lot of time, then go to therapy, avail treatment. But then too, there is still a long way to go with the mental health care in India. Things are slowing slowly and people, most people are taking it positively and many people have come out forward and spoken about the situation. Thank you. Yes, uh, Shravani, no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Shravani, uh, the moment I plan to ask a question, you uh, have already included it in your speech. So this has come in your presentation. The moment I feel that I'm going to put this question to her, you have come with the answer in the presentation. Thank so, you, ma'am. have any questions to you, but one simple question. 
because I have asked everybody, so I have to ask you a question. Suppose you feel that one of your peer group is undergoing some stage of depression. You feel, you're not sure, but you feel. What, how do you, and what will be your action? Man, your voice was lagging. Can you repeat the last part? Yeah, sure. I said, I'm just a simple question. That suppose you feel that one of your peer group friend, yeah. okay, is going through a state of depression or is going or is in the verge of uh, going into the state of depression. What will be your action? First of all, I'm just gonna tell her to calm down because I know this thing is a very serious thing. I'll just first tell her some awareness to guess the symptoms and the uh, head parts. Then I'll tell her do slowly things, try to make sure it's all there. But then to if that doesn't help, tell your parents, tell me I will always be there for you. Because even there were some phases in my life where I was suffered from these things. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. The next participant is Dhruv Nayak. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Drew Nye. I am studying in 10C. Today, I will talk about young teens should only use recreational internet and video games one hour daily. I have selected this topic because the only intention is to transfer knowledge for welfare of human beings. In our times, technology has become one of our essential thing in life, especially video games. Video games are electronic system used to run games. They involve human interaction, especially teenagers. Many research have been done on the effects of video game, showing that there is some positive and negative impact. If we if we play video game for about uh, for about two or more hours, we could develop game disorders such as anxiety, depression, sleeping problem, loneliness mental changes, poor academic performance, gaming addiction can slow down our brain growth. Gaming addiction negatively affects eyesight and insomnia. Insomnia that is mean by common sleep disorder. My suggestion is that parents should place the time limit on their, child, on their children's interactive technology use. Parents and teachers should help children to develop effective time management and self-regulation skills to reduce technology use. Thank you. Hello, Dhru. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, few years back, few games were banned. Uh, are you aware of this? Can you name a few games which were banned? Ma'am, first is the Blue L. Well. And second is the PUBG. Okay. Have you ever tried out any video games? No, ma'am. Tempted? No. No. How many how many hours a month, let us say? Do you are you involved in video games? Ma'am, actually I am not playing video games at all. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, through. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. A last participant for today's event is Sushmita Mishra. Good afternoon, one and all. Myself, Sushmita Mishra. That is class 82 moon. Out of which, I am going to talk about a moon named Enceladus. Scientists have announced that the Cassini space probe has detected hydrogen gas coming from the crack in the icy crust. Finding hydrogen is a big deal because it's a chemical which is essential to form life. And the others are carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. All of those elements have been detected on Enceladus except phosphorus and sulfur. But the scientists suspect that those elements are also present in its rocky core. Enceladus is too small to keep hydrogen in its atmosphere. So, the hydrogen must have come from the ocean inside the crust. A place of vapor, hot spots, think of above, indicating that hydrothermal activity also exists in its sea floor. 
again this is a kind of big deal of what we know of our own planet that the uh, that the hydrothermal activity occurs on earth when when the water seeps into the sea floor and it is heated by magma this heat is and mineral rich water bursts back to sea floor and amazingly ecosystem tends to spring up around nasa scientists speculated that something similar could be going on around on high on enceladus hydrothermal vents using the process called methanogenesis potential life form could combine hydrogen with carbon dioxide to form energy and methane that is by product methanogenesis is the truth of our tree of life one of the scientists was quick to point out that the enceladus would be too young to give life enough time to form the conditions could be right but nobody is fully sure Obviously, the scientists have not concluded that there is a life down there. But if there is a life down there, the casting would be able to find out. According to me, I like this research because of its fascinating fact. If by chance the most subsurface ocean would be able to support life, then we will get an opportunity to experience that how the life was evolved or developed on the Earth. Thank you. Okay, Sushmita. Sushmita, yes, yeah. Uh, Sushmita, now you have uh, uh, talked about possible signs of life on Saturn's moon, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Moon or planet where life is possible and where we can go and settle in the near future. I think Mars. Mars. Okay. Anything else? Any other? any other planets or moons have you come across where there is a sign of life okay Mars. yeah tell me you want to add something please tell me uh i only i only i only thought that the mars is the only planet that i have read about okay. so the mars is only planet so so in your future if you are uh, if you have if you are given a chance to go and relocate in mars will you uh, accept it sorry ma'am the yeah? voice is not audible i am not audible okay i i asked in case in your future you are one of those persons selected to uh, relocate to mars will you accept the proposal yes Yes. Okay. Very confident. Okay. Yes. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Now that we are done with our participants, let's have a glimpse on the various talents possessed by our today's chief guest, Dr. Jay Shimina.
उत्कृष्ट उत्तम उत्कृष्ट कड़कड़ पापड़ नहीं का ही मिलावट नहीं का ही फसवणूक घरगुती पापड़ कड़कड़ पापड़ आमच पापड़ तुम्स पापड़ सग पापड़ कड़कड़ पापड़ तो आता फ्त खाऊ बी नर घया पापड़ पापड़ कड़कड़ पापड़ सग Wow I can proudly say that we all are lucky to have such an exceptional personality among us Now the moment we all have been waiting for I request our today's guest of honor Dr Jayashree Menon to reveal the results for today's competition Hello everybody a very difficult time for me to declare the results okay but i know all of you are anxiously waiting for it all right now uh, just a minute Yeah. Uh, sir, shall I declare the result? We know, sir. Yes, of course, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. Yeah. Of course. Okay, okay. Uh, I hope I'm audible because I have the screen, the Google spreadsheet in front of me, and uh, I'm uh, announcing from the Google spreadsheet so that I don't uh, make any confusions or mistakes. I'm. I hope I'm audible to everybody. Okay. so i'll first declare the result and before declaration i think sir let me give them a feedback yes yes uh, i sure. general feedback and then i'll declare the result i think that's better because yeah. once the results are then uh, some of them will be happy some of them will not be so happy some of them will be sad so uh, before that let me talk let me put in my views and then we will come to the result okay children first of all a big big congratulations to one and all for participating in this program why i said participating is that the moment you decide to participate your mind starts working your mind becomes active has what to do what to select and uh, your sir has been very good to give you a very good website from where you will get n number of articles and you have to just choose one among them okay otherwise your mind would have still become more active like where to find what to find the best one he made it easy for you probably because most of you are from the 10th standard so uh, the things were little bit bit easy for you but when you have searched through the articles and when you wanted to select one i'm sure you might have gone through not one or two you might have gone through at least 10 articles and then selected one among them so you have gained a lot of knowledge in this process okay what i'm trying to say is that participation why now you may tell me it is very easy for the teachers to say that participation is important meaning is secondary but it is true now when i was making this calculations and then when i was preparing the result some things were going on in the screen and uh, thanks to uh, vino sir he had taken a lot of efforts to put in all my talents together and put it now why i am i doing all this so the last one that was that was a, an ad it was an ad word for marathi program in my college for the teachers mainly made for the mainly uh, the program was a teach for was for the teachers as well as for the students i make a point to participate in most of the programs whether it, whether it I, even in my school days even in my college days and even now as a teacher i try to participate in most of the programs because i believe the moment i pass a lot of knowledge It is not just theoretical knowledge. When you are, when you come in, uh, when you come, when you are associated with many people, you learn a lot from them. Like from this program, I have been associated with all of you. I uh, I was introduced to Vinod sir through Mahadevan sir. I learned a lot from him. 
okay i learned a lot from you children when i was hearing your talk i learned a lot from you children and that is how we uh, we uh, expand ourselves okay and we are all just mini schools now when you saw the website science daily you have seen so many research taking place every day you are not even aware of them so many in all the fields okay so uh, every bit of it you are you cannot be you cannot uh, be aware of everything that is going on around the earth but wherever possible whenever possible try to grab the opportunity to learn more things and one way is to take part in various programs and various competitions whichever you can okay in whichever you are confident enough to take part not that you will have to always win a prize but at least give it a try all right now in today's program i am already talking to those children who have participated in it but this applies to everybody and this applies to you too even in your future in in your in when you go to your college levels even when you are into uh, say engineering or medical or any other professional field don't forget to participate in the various programs and don't forget to pursue your hobbies okay pandemic was a good time for me to pursue my hobbies you have seen i have made lot of handicrafts okay this really this is what the mental activity that uh, uh, who has been i don't now remember uh, yeah it is anushka was talking about so this is how you know mentally you get distressed de 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 and when you get distressed mentally lot of your physical problems also uh, go away with it appears with it okay so it is very very important for you to take part in activities now in today as far as today's activities are concerned see it was mainly slide oriented it was not a speech it was not an extempo it was slide oriented so slide uh, the focus was on the slide whenever you are making a slide many of you you have just copy pasted the abstract all right but this should not be done you should understand what the topic is and write the key points on the slide you have been given only one slide all right so try to make brief points and put it in point you have to make brief sentence put it in points so that at one glance the observer will will come to know what are the highlights of your uh, presentation along with it put some images just one or two images to it, it is an added at attraction to to the uh, to your slide so please make a note of it just don't overcrowd your slide just by copying and pasting it what happens that your slide is overcrowded and uh, the observer whoever is reading it cannot read the full if, if the observer is going to read the sentences uh, the the person is not going to hear to what you are saying so whenever you are going to going for a presentation may not be competition it can be just a presentation see to it that you give your your text in point form and in a brief and concise manner as to what you want to say all right now second point that i want to highlight over here whenever you are taking a topic you have to also read uh, about something beyond that topic okay some things which is which goes beyond it like you have to always uh, prepare to the questions that the judge may ask you not always necessary that what you are expecting uh, the judge will be asking the same question but same you should prepare you should not just stick to that not just focus to that topic just learn some pros and cons about the topic and learn something else for example i was asking somebody about the junk dna well she told she she told everything about the junk dna but she was not knowing the reason why it is called as a junk dna it was called as a junk dna because earlier it was considered to be useless set of nucleotides they assumed that there was no function for this like uh, how they assumed the penile gland did not have any function the appendix did not have any function but as time goes as researchers are developing you know uh, they have come to the conclusion no there is nothing waste in our body every organ every bit of uh, bit uh, uh, in our body has got some or the other function and that applies to this junk dna also so you have to uh, Uh, what i'm trying to say is that you have to have a little knowledge outside your topic for better answering of the questions all right uh, and then uh, uh, confidence yes i should say most of you have uh, spoken with confidence but in the beginning i heard the anchor saying that you have to keep your videos on but i did not see anybody keeping their videos on i didn't know why but because nobody kept that video on i'm just minusing that part 
all right so when you keep your videos on i would have understood i would have got a better idea about who is just reading the text and who is able to present it see when you are presenting and suppose you are asked to keep your video on then simple reading will not do okay you have to by heart what you are going to present you have to repeat a number of times you can keep a paper with you or you can keep something you know with you uh, some board or some chart and you can very well go through it in between so that you remember the uh, points but you cannot just read the text i could very well understand who was simply reading and who has thorough, who has uh, practiced it a number of times and then presenting it okay uh, sorry ma'am uh, ma'am sorry yeah. to interrupt ma'am actually video was on of all the students i think i pinned it i pinned it maybe you are on focus mode so uh maybe you might not able to see shayad otherwise uh, okay. all the students uh, switched on their videos ma'am i pinned them okay, okay, okay. maybe in recording it might come okay fine fine sorry sorry no, so i don't know yeah i don't know technically how it looks on the other side i know i know i know okay, okay. Uh, yeah. because i could see the name i could see the number but uh, okay. i couldn't see the face okay i could i could see only the name and the number but not the face Okay. Okay. Even I couldn't see it. I couldn't see any of the way students uh, when they are speaking. Uh, okay. Video, though it was on, but I couldn't see them. Okay, the video was on, sir. Uh, it was pinned. Everybody's. In fact, your video was also pinned. Even uh, Jayshri Ma'am's video was also pinned. I think, uh, but uh, may, yeah. may, maybe scrolling or uh, exiting the uh, this mode, exiting the full screen mode would have done. Would have made you see the screen, maybe. Uh, no, I was on the exit. I was on the exit mode, sir, because I had okay. to uh, so open the Google. So now also you also. now also when you were speaking, uh, nobody was able to see the video. So I spotlighted you. Okay. So maybe I that was the only could you be throughout. The I could see. I could yeah. see only Vinod, sir, throughout. <laughs> nobody Achha. else. Acha. Acha. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the fourth point, uh, children, clarity. Clarity is very very important. okay clarity of sound mm -hmm. uh, the words have to be clear because finally it is online competition all right and i am not see as i told you i am not able i was not able to see you also so many a times i couldn't uh, get the words what you are the keywords uh, was not audible all right so that had some problem with some people but most of them they were very confident in the presentation no doubt all right so this is a basic i think i have covered up most of the points and now it's time for the result uh, yes i'll start with the third prize uh, on the third um uh, level the i think i should announce the name of divya 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 thank you are getting third prize divya thank you ma'am divya bauskar Divya Bhaskar, you are getting the third prize. Uh, second prize goes to Anushka. Anushka Hobli. Let me tell that topic also. Divya had presented antiviral protection. Antiviral protection. Anushka Hobli had presented physical inactivity. Physical inactivity. And uh, the first prize goes to Shravani. Shravani Vishe. Shravani Vishay, congratulations! I think you presented dispersion. Thank you, ma'am. Depression, depression, right? Yes, yes. We spoke about a depression. So these are the three winners: Shravani, securing the first place; Anushka, second, second place; and Divya on the third place. Congratulations! Once again, let me tell you: others need not be depressed. I should not use the word depressed. as um, shravani has been telling depression is a big uh, it is a big word it should not be used although we use it very often that i am depressed okay please don't be sad don't be unhappy most of you have presented it very very well all right but then i have to judge i have to pick up the best out of you out of you 12 and so there were criteria given to me so got, on the basis of the criteria i had to judge you all right so congratulations to all of you Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Heartiest congratulations to all of you. I would especially like to thank Jayshree, ma'am, and everyone present here 
for sparing their valuable time to conduct this competition. Now, I would like to call upon Vinod sir for the vote of thanks. First of all, uh, am I audible? Yeah. So yes, sir. Thank you. First of all, first of all, let me welcome our uh, South Indian Association High School and Junior College Headmistress, Mrs. Madhuri Hariharan, as well as our Assistant Headmistress uh, Dipti Donde, ma'am. Uh, they uh, for their uh, kind gesture to enter into the competition. Uh, gratitude. The word itself. It has got lots of meaning. Uh, you know, it, it's been a time that uh, uh, online competitions were held, and this research topic only came to my mind because I am trying to do research. And you know what? Not I would like to thank uh, Mahadevan sir for suggesting uh, Dr. Jayeshri Menon, ma'am. And uh, know what, ma'am? I learned so many things from you. I tell you, sincerity. Uh, I I I am. I don't have any words to express. So let me give my uh, gratitude to the judge first, uh, uh, Dr. Jayshree Menon. Along with, I need to thank uh, my anchor Swarat Mahajan for uh, creating a wonderful uh, anchoring for uh, in a very formal way. Also. I need to thank all my authorities who supported me for conducting this uh, competition and hope so I have done well. Uh, not but least, I would like to congratulate the winners of today's competition as well as the students who participated. All those students who tried their level best, my best wishes to you all. Uh, my sincere gratitude towards everybody who is associated with this, my special invitees, my teachers of science as well as mathematics who supported me a lot as they do every time. So I would like to thank all those because this is a 10 standard uh, uh, competition. So I would like to thank all the teachers right from the beginning of ABCD level to their college, junior college level. So thank you so much uh, for this wonderful event. Uh, what not? Thank you so much and take care. So, ma'am, shall we end? Uh, thank you, Vinod, sir. Uh, thank yeah. you, Mahadev, sir, and uh, principal, principal of uh, SIS. It was a nice interaction. And I'm really happy that I've been invited. And it was uh, first of its kind, let me tell you. And see, this is what I've learned. I'm going to apply the same thing in my college also because uh, they don't have to put in a lot of time. And I think uh, in my college also, I'll be conducting such this kind of short and sweet program. Thank you very much once again, all of you for inviting me. It was sure, really exciting. I hope the students would have learned so students. many things today. Yes. And my dear students, all the best. You all are going through a very tough time. It's only virtual interaction since standard nine, is it not? But I hope everything will end soon. And once again, you all will meet each other and you'll all be doing practicals, the real practical, not the virtual practicals. Okay. And all the best to everybody. Finally, I request everybody to put on their video for a small snapshot. Everybody. Please put on your video. Jayshree, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Jayshree, ma'am. <laughs> uh, yeah. 